In this video, we're gonna be breaking down one of the make or break factors when it comes to you achieving the goals you've set for yourself this year, your daily routine, but not in the way that you've been led to believe. Now, this video may trigger some of you, but my goal with this channel is always to bring truth to the situation so that you can see the world clearly, understand what you need to understand, and take actions accordingly to be able to achieve your goals as effortlessly as possible, with a clear mind, confidence within yourself, and conviction in what you're doing. My intention with this video is to bring you clarity on how a routine can make or break your success, but not when it comes to being productive or being lazy. You already know all of that, and you've probably watched a million videos just like that telling you what you need to do. My intention is to go a layer deeper into how it affects your mindset, your self-image, and the actual emotional triggers behind your actions which lead to all of your decisions, and also how the most productive routines can actually lead to massive self sabotage now some of this stuff may be dense but do stick with me without further ado let's jump into the whiteboard cool so a couple of disclaimers before i jump into this video so you do understand where i'm coming from my goal is to simply help you see the world more clearly and make really really good decisions by finding the truth in every situation okay routines for the record are a great way to stack small wins i do believe in them they help you build self-respect reliability in yourself Morning routines are extremely beneficial when you're actually doing the things that move you forward. And, you know, staying in bed and scrolling on social media isn't necessarily necessarily bad. It's a decision. And, you know, the effects of that are on you. So really what we're trying to do with this training, and we'll get into this more deeply later on, is see the neutrality in everything. There's nothing good or bad. Okay, so stay tuned for that. The effects of that are on you. So if you do want to do that, that is your decision, and you do live with the effects of that. Okay, so that's the, the polarity here. I'm simply sharing my experience from two years of experience and research on these topics from working with clients and developing myself and my mindset, okay? I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to diagnose you with anything, any mental conditions or anything like that. I just want to help share this information, help bring you truth. And, you know, really at the end of the day, it's finding what works for you. This is not a prescription. With all that out of the way, let's jump into the training, okay? So there's no shortage of daily routine videos online. So I search daily routines on YouTube and Instagram and things like that just to see okay what people are posting. I've seen a lot of these videos in the past. You probably have watched a couple of them yourself as well where you get, you know, the millionaire daily routine, the daily routine of a 26-year-old CEO, the billionaire daily routine, the perfect daily routine, right? There's just all of these different things and what this does it actually skews our perception of reality and, you know, social media in general does this, but for the specific video we're going to be focusing on these types of videos. Before we jump into anything else, we need to understand the mind. So the mind itself, it doesn't understand nuances, okay? Anything that happens in your life doesn't understand this thing was kind of good or this thing was a little bit bad. It just things, sees things as positive or negative. That's how it makes sense of everything. So everything in a so-called negative experience will be categorized as negative. Anything that is associated with that is categorized as negative, which means that this can trigger a number of different emotions towards different things in your life that have happened, okay? So if that doesn't make sense yet, just stick with me. We're going to go through it all. Every past, present, or future event in your mind has been categorized as positive or as negative, and this skews your perception of reality to see things and make sense of the world, okay? Everything that's happened in your life up to this point is stored in the mind as positive or negative, and like I said, this forms your perception of reality. So with that out of the way, let's jump into how this um, actually changes the perception, okay? Let's look at this for, for a minute. So this causes a massive problem in your perception of reality because what this does, it says, hey, perfect daily routine equals success, positive. Imperfect daily routine equals failure, negative. Okay, so that's the way a lot of these videos are presented. If I see millionaire daily routine, that is what success is. So therefore, if I do not do this thing, I am not doing the thing I need to do to be a millionaire. Therefore, this thing that I'm doing that is not this is imperfect. It is failure, right? Positive and negative. The brain only understands things that way. You may consciously say, hey, I know that this is not perfect, right? I know that this is just someone's variation of that but your mind interprets things differently, okay? So you need to be just be mindful of that. So let's look at the actual traits of extremely successful people so we can start to balance this out a little bit, okay? So this was in reference to some of Alex Ormosi's videos, which talks about, he talks about the anti-routine, he talks about how routines actually make you poor and fragile. And I agree with this to an extent, of course, and of course he's very successful, so I do listen to a lot of the stuff that he does says. But when I've done research on people who are extremely, extremely successful, and Ormosi has mentioned this in a number of his videos as well, there's a couple of things that the ultra successful do on a day-to-day -day basis and just have in general in terms of character traits and skill sets that separate themselves from other people. So things like focus, vision, and direction, they have a vision, they know where they're going, and they're focused on achieving that for a long period of time. They have financial literacy, 
and they understand financial management, impulse control. So when it comes to the focus, the vision and direction, impulse control is not getting distracted by shiny objects and not thinking that they need to do something else to make their thing better. They just need to focus on doing the inputs that are required to get them to where they want to be. And the last thing is emotional management. Okay. Now, from my understanding of mindset and from what I've been helping other people do, everything to do with mindset when it comes to business specifically is emotional management. We can talk about spirituality, you can talk about connection to God, connection to source. All of that is extremely, extremely important. I do believe in that strongly. But when it comes to making decisions and moving yourself forward, it really just comes down to emotional management. And when you remove all the fluff and affirmations and positive thinking and all these things, what you're left with is, can you actually manage your emotions? And if you cannot do that, you will not get to where you want to be because you'll always be pulled in these different directions and you'll be interpreting things in a way that could actually be harming your success and you'll get caught up in looking for new shiny objects and all these different things and there's a lot to unpack here but we're going to dive into some of the the cycles of how this actually shows up in terms of self-sabotage so you can avoid these things and really see the world clearly when you see a lot of these daily routine videos okay they're talking about waking up at a certain time they're talking about meditating they're talking about visualizing they're talking about writing down their goals they're talking about all of these different things that they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis to achieve success and i do agree with them if they serve you like i said at the beginning of this video if those things are serving you and you're getting amazing results in your life then keep doing those things, right? My goal is not to change your way of doing things just from this video. My goal is to help you see things clearly. And if things are working for you, please keep doing it because you will achieve what you want to achieve. Okay, so I want to share with you some of the thought processes that go through your mind or maybe going through your mind if these things don't go to plan on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So let's look at this. I didn't wake up on time. I didn't do my meditation. Uh, I didn't have my cup of coffee. I didn't do my morning workout. I didn't do my morning affirmations. I didn't write down my goals, for example, okay? Maybe you've consumed all of these different videos and these different daily routine uh, types of content and you see that you have to do all of these things and now you, you see yourself not doing these things or maybe you sleep in late or maybe you didn't do this or you didn't do that. So this may actually be triggering your mind. I'm a piece of shit. I can't do the thing. It starts to bring up guilt and shame around your actions and who you are. This um, starts to make you think, well, how could I ever grow a business if I can't even get up early? How could I ever grow a business if I can't even be consistent in my meditation? Oh my God, I didn't do my meditation, therefore I can't do the things I need to do, right? And it starts this downward spiral, okay? Now, if you're experiencing these things, we're gonna dive into why this is in a second, so hopefully this really brings a lot of clarity to you. And what this leads to is self-sabotage, because if these thoughts are going through your mind, it's gonna trigger you to take certain actions, which will eventually become behaviors unconsciously. And then this will be like a negative flow and loop that you find yourself stuck in every time these different things happen, okay? Now, of course, this is just an example, but I want to reference it to the, the, the routine stuff so that you can see how this actually works and how we can actually solve this problem, okay? So when, it leads, when this leads to self-sabotage, this spirals into other negative emotions. So frustration, maybe you're frustrated at the fact that you can't do the things that you say you do. Maybe you're frustrated at the fact that all these other people out there have amazing routines and are making multi-millions every single year, but you can't even get up on time. Then you have anger towards that situation in general. You have resentment towards the people that told you that you need a perfect daily routine. And then you have more guilt and more shame and more anxiety, and it starts to trigger all of these different perceptions. Now think about it. If you're experiencing all of these different emotions and they're affecting you, how do you think you're going to act on a day-to-day -day basis? probably not do the actions that you know you need to take. You're probably not gonna be limitless. You're probably not gonna be waking up every day and looking forward to doing uh, the things that you have to do in your business, creating content, doing sales, having conversations, you know, refining your product and your, your delivery. You're probably not gonna wake up wanting to do those things if you're feeling all of these negative emotions that can come from a variety of different sources. We just picked one here, for example, okay, when it comes to like the routine stuff. So let's look at what's actually happening here. So we gotta break down some of these meanings so you can understand this a bit more clearly. So when it comes to guilt, guilt is the fact of having committed a specific crime or offense, okay? And this can happen in our minds when it comes to these routine videos, because if we watch this routine, this billionaire is telling us that this is what they did. Therefore, we now feel guilty if we don't do the same thing, because we feel like we have committed a crime to who we say we are. And I know that sounds absolutely out of this world and crazy consciously, but subconsciously, these are the associations that you make with it. When it comes to shame, it's a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. So if you associate with yourself with someone who wants to get into business, someone who wants to grow their business and sign clients and make an impact and things like that, you feel shame towards the fact that you actually can't do the behaviors that you know you need to do and therefore it causes this negative spiral of shame, okay? And these are all tied together, by the way, all of these different emotions, right? So we look at the definition in this case is the perception that you have caused yourself pain or suffering through your current actions because you're believing that something you didn't do 
has more negatives than positives, causing more pain than pleasures. You get okay. So you see that there's a bit of an imbalance there when it comes to your perception of how you're viewing these routines or these things that you must do on a day-to-day -day basis to be successful. Okay. Now let's look at what's actually happening here and go a little bit deeper. So your mind, first of all, has these associations that it makes with different events that have happened in your life and they're categorized in your mind. Okay. If you had an event in your life before where you felt shame or guilt, and usually the earlier this is in your childhood, the more you know potent this is and the harder it is to detect. But if you've had those experiences before, it's going to affect your perception of reality in the future because this is how the, the, the mind actually stores memories. It stores memories and attaches a positive or a negative charge towards those things so that you can predict future outcomes, basically, so that you can protect yourself from things that were painful before and move towards things that were more positive, for example. But you can also you know, be obsessed with things that are positive, which is also two sides of the same coin, also not a good thing, okay? So if we look at these negatively charged events, think of all these as different memories. The, the red ones are the negatively charged events, which are gonna block your perception of reality and how you see the world. Positively charged events are just the opposite on, you know, in a positive sense, okay? So what this does, a story then becomes, I don't deserve this. If you feel guilt and shame towards the things you're doing or the things that you're not doing, the story becomes, I don't deserve this. Maybe you heard Tony Robbins say, you have to change your story to be able to change your life. Now the story comes from these charged events that have actually happened in your life. And really what we're trying to do is unpack all of these things, untangle your mind so that you can you know, regulate your emotions effectively. Because what this starts to do is fire and wire neurons in your brain that are going to help you to find things to prove you right based on the story that you are telling yourself, okay? So the energy that you put out of not deserving or not feeling like you're worthy of these things is actually going to trigger the reticular activating system in your mind to find reasons to prove you right. Now, the reticular activating system is the RAS, right? It's a bundle of nerves at your brainstem that filters out any unnecessary information so the important stuff gets true. Basically, what you're doing is you're going and you're looking for stuff to focus on, right? So if your focus is on the story of, I am not good enough, I am, I am not deserving this because I feel guilty about doing this thing, you see how this is all tied together, you're gonna look for reasons to prove you right because that is what you are focusing on. So ex an example of this is if you tune out in a crowd of people, right, where you can't really hear what people are talking, you're just kind of, it's kind of muffled, right? You're in your own world, but you snap into attention when someone says your name, or something that sounds like it because that's what you're focused on you've trained your mind to focus on your name as a way to identify yourself because it's just been habit over time it's the same thing when you're focusing on the story that you have created of let's say i don't deserve this and that's then what you put out into the world the energy of not deserving which reaffirms your beliefs so you you pick up from everybody around you from all the things that you do it all comes back to you as I don't deserve this and you have proof in your reality. Therefore, you keep believing it and it keeps reaffirming the same story and it then forms into who you are, your mindset and how you perceive the world. Okay. Hopefully all of this is clicking for you, but let's go a little bit deeper when it comes to the polarity and how we're actually going to solve this. Okay. So to really understand this, we need to understand the principle of polarity. The principle of polarity means that there is positive and negatives in every single thing that we experience in life, okay? There's nothing out there that doesn't have positives and negatives at the same time. The problem is, is that a lot of the time we see that they're only one-sided. You see here, for example, let's say we had a negative event here, or you, you got broken up with, and all of those negative emotions that you know were triggering inside of you, it's unlikely that you went off and you started to see the positives in that straight away. You probably saw all the negatives in it, and that is like a negatively charged event in your mind, which is going to fog your perception of reality. But if you were to really dive in, dive in and look for that, there's a lot of positives that come from that kind type of situation, such as now you have the opportunity to find somebody who is better. Maybe there's things that you learn about yourself. Maybe you have more free time. Maybe you have more time to focus on your business. There's all of these different things that come up. But if you really look for everything, there's positives and negatives in everything. And this is how we start to balance out our perception. Because in reality, what we want is clarity and we want confidence as to what is actually happening. Therefore, positive and negative are just two different sides of the same thing. Okay, we have hot and cold, we have bad and good, we have light and dark. One cannot exist without the other. And we can also tie this to the law of relativity. Okay, given an example of this, let's say we have someone who is making a million a year and someone who's making 50 grand a year. In relativity to each other, the guy who's making a million a year is richer than the guy who's making 50k a year. See how that works? But in relativity to someone who's making a billion a year, he is rich. Compared to the guy who's making a million a year, he is now quote unquote poor. 
right? So everything just exists in relativity to each other. So there's nothing that is either too positive or too negative. It's all based on your perception of what you, how you see things. So what we're really looking for is cl clarity and confidence. And when it comes to the routine, how we can tie this all together is that the problem here is that the perception of reality is actually imbalanced. So the worldview is, let's say, waking up early, positive, sleeping in, negative. So therefore, when some, one of these things happen, it triggers guilt, it triggers shame, and then that starts everything that we just discussed here. This loop of sabotage and frustration and anger and all of these other resentments that come from this. And when you see things clearly and have confidence that there is nothing either positive or negative, there is just a decision to be made in neutrality at this particular moment in time, then that's when you can actually make clear and concise decisions. But that comes from removing the different limitations in your mind, the different perceptions and frustrations and emotions that are fogging your lens of reality, that are fogging the way that you see things and the way that you actually are perceiving things to be. And when you remove those things, you can make clear and concise decisions that are going to help you move forward. And when you start to remove these things, you start to master your emotions, which means that you are mastering your mindset. You do not have these up and down seasons where things are going really good and then things are going really bad. You can actually start to balance that out as, as much as possible. I'm not saying it's never going to be up and down, but you can start to balance it out as much as possible and really be able to ride the wave and see things as they truly are neither positive nor negative so let's tie it all together right if we look at you know some some key takeaways morning routines and routines are tools to help you live well but don't use them as a crutch they do not determine your success there's plenty of people out there who do not have any routines and they make millions of dollars right the reality is that there's no good or bad they're just what is and i want to be able to find the benefits and find the negatives in every situation to see that there is nothing truly good or bad. And the more we can do this with everything in our lives, with past events, with future events, the things that we're going through right now, the more we can see the world clearly, okay? Use routines to help you to get the right things done. That's what they're there to do, they're a tool. There may be, not saying that there is, but there may be underlying emotions and past events that trigger these feelings, that when they're dealt with, you will be able to solve the problem from the root and you'll be able to find a neutrality in all the situations and remove these things that you know stop you from taking the actions that you need to take, which is really the thing that is going to stop you from getting the goal that you want when you break it down. Okay? You can have no millionaire daily routine and still reach your goals if you just do the right inputs, if you just do the right things. Okay? And when we look at Hormozy's mindset, a lot of people don't know this, but this guy spent nine months every day for nine months, 90 minutes a day or a couple of hours a day, I'm not sure how much it exactly was, clearing his mind and balancing out these perceptions before he ever sold Jim Lange for something like, you know, 20 or 42 million, right? And this is why when you watch his videos and he's talking about these things, everything is so rock solid and everything is so stoic and he's able to make incredible decisions, okay? So I wanted to reference that because I think that's very, very important. When it comes to mindset, you can look at spirituality, you can look at all these affirmations and things like that. And I have other videos on all of these things that you can dive into. But really what we're trying to do is manage our emotions so that we can make clear and concise decisions that are gonna help steer us in the direction of achieving our goals far faster than we would if we were on this up and down roller coaster of trying to deal with all these different things. If we just remove them, balance them, see the truth and see the world clearly, we are much more likely to achieve our goals much faster than we would without them. So that brings me to the end of today's training, guys. If you have questions, if there's anything that wasn't clear, drop it in the comments below. If you have any key takeaways, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did this make sense to you? And also, if you haven't joined our community, check out the links below so you can be surrounded by other men on the same journey as you to mastering their mind, building an influential personal brand and doing the things they know they need to do to be able to get to their, where they want to be. That's what we're all about. And if you're new to the channel, if you want to see more in-depth trainings and tools to be able to help you master your mind, master your emotions, be sure to hit the subscribe down below and I'll catch you in the next video.